All right, so we doing an early review. These dropped this weekend. What's today's date? Uh, today the 15th. Today the 15th, so they dropped this Saturday. You don't know what day that is. I'm sorry, I'm, I got a brain fart right now. Retail is 190. Let's see if you get that. This is the Cool Gray 3, size 11. As you can see, it's got the elephant print on the box with the, you know, uh, gray box with the red jump man. Elephant print paper, as you can see. You got the elephant print paper. You know what I'm saying? Cool grays. These, the first version dropped in 2007. You know, and it's pretty much the same. I really don't see any differences between the two. I mean, I don't have a pair, an OG pair on me. I had them then. But from what I, from what I remember, um, these pretty much look the same. So you got your gray reverse. It almost looked like reverse leather more than suede. Because if you kind of look deep into it, you can kind of see like the leather perforations in in the upper. And it got it, it has like a type of shine to it. Like it's a very thin shade of uh, suede. And then you got your gray elephant print. And then you got your, uh, like, a charcoal gray type of, uh, you know, sole and midsole along here as well. And uh, what I like about the newer threes is that it's still painted on, but it's not like, uh, I don't know what paint that was, that, that paint they used in 07. I mean, you would wear your threes twice and they'd get the cracking all over. So I'm glad they, they did better. They kind of used a flat base paint. And it, and it kind of like, you know, you can tell it adapts to temperature so you won't have like those cracking issues. Um, same with the white as well. I mean, you got that yellow air bubble on the inside. And then you got your um, little hints of yellow right here in between your lace lids, eyelids, whatever you call them. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to cuss for the kids, you know. And then you got in the inside, you got your white with your red jump man. You know what I'm saying? So this is cool. And then you got, I mean, your white laces. I mean, it's pretty much a simple shoe, red jump, man. Um, as far as reselling, the resale game right now, to me, honestly, it's funny. It's funny. If you don't have a clientele and you just kind of jumping in the game, just selling sneakers right now, be very selective of what you push or what you buy. Because right now, consumership has kind of took... A little reverse where it came from everybody wanting to get the shoe to rock the shoe now everybody wants to sell shoes now so it ain't so it ain't it ain't too much room it ain't so much like last year the sneaker game was booming oh that's the new trx that's hard so yeah um last year the sneaker game was booming and um but now like i said be very selective on the sneakers you buy don't be such an impulsive buyer and try to get it you know buy everything up and then you're gonna look up you sitting on 10 pair of sneakers and you got money all stuck in and stuff and then you got a desperate sale you got to sell everything being desperate and that's what's going on with the stock market right now you see a lot of people are just taking whatever for, for these sneakers like you people selling these for 230 240 you might as well like i know you paid more than that to get them early so you know but that's because people panicking right now so guys relax it's a lot of sneakers coming out this year but hopefully the guys who really want these is personal pairs. I hope you guys get pairs and that'll be the end of this video.